All right, so if you watched the vlog last week, you know I started a new social media job for the Detroit Artist Test Lab. So I've been super busy. I'm doing a million other things like normal on top of that. April 7th is the event. Right now I'm going out shooting with Felicia and Andrew. Don't even know what we're getting into. Just got to do something for the vlog to keep the weekly uploads flowing. We have an ever elusive day fire. My camera's not charged because I'm not prepared. Thankfully, Felicia and Andrew have the Live a Great Story signature brick. I'm gonna be walking around the fire carrying this filming. Hopefully, it's a bando fire. The end. Damn, look at these double rims. <laughs> Some real Detroit. <laughs> Oh, he just got new tires too. Still got the sticker. Like, gonna start to be played more soon. This one's still going. Can you uh, turn your car back on so I can roll the window up? Sorry. Hopefully everyone's all right. We're gonna document it. Show you what these firefighters do and how they'll be killing it. Super smoky streets. Hopefully they're getting this one out. Everyone's straight. Hopefully it's a bando fire and not some occupied house. Most of the time it is. We'll see. First nice day in the city since winter broke, of course things are popping off. Look how caved in both sides of the roof are and they're just chilling up there while their homies pick it apart underneath.
Okay, so there's a lot to talk about, but first things first, I'm going to address how lighthearted, I guess, the mood of the fire footage was. And the reason, even though I normally take my fire footage and I make it really dark because the mood is usually dark when you're there and creepy and things like that or scary sometimes even. But this time, maybe it was because it was the first fire of the warm weather or I don't even know, maybe it's because the whole street was abandoned so everyone was going to be safe. All the firefighters had the most lighthearted mood. It was hilarious. They were making jokes. Like, as you see in the video, they're doing funny hand gestures. It was just hilarious to see it like that as opposed to... I've seen it serious so many times because obviously it's such a serious thing and bad things can happen. But that's why the mood of it was super lighthearted in this one because it's probably the only time I'm going to get to make fire footage with a lighthearted mood like that. Um, a couple other things I want to address. Last week I also touched on the Detroit Artist Test Lab and I want to give you more information. That's an artist incubator on the east side of the city. It's a studio space. You can rent an office space. You can rent event space. You can rent photo studio time with all the professional equipment. Here's a video I made of them. <laughs> That's another home base for me now. We're gonna be doing a lot there. There's gonna be an event there soon. This year is stacked for events and footage and vlogs and podcasts coming. Everything is crazy right now. I'm super, super busy. Um, go check out the Detroit Artist Test Lab. Follow them on social media. If you need studio space or something, hit us up. We'll make it happen. It's just cool to be on top of all these new endeavors. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's falling into place. I just got to finish a Detroit film. It's getting crazy out here, I'm getting so busy. I'm just trying to have a girlfriend, spending all my time on my art, man. Be here April 7th, for real. If you don't come to this event, you might be trash. So you got to make sure you're here. It's a networking event, a party, an art show, an anniversary party for the skate park live action sports you could come skate or ride in the designated areas there's going to be vendors with art set up all over the place you can rsvp by clicking the link on the screen and it'll give you more info that's how you get tickets there's still like four or five vendor spaces left you can get those too follow that link and you get all the information you need better see you here it's called kill your local even though it's a controversial title i don't care i'm fearless with this art no i'm just kidding um <laughs> But yeah, that's coming coming April 7th. I know what you're thinking. What the heck is that thing? That's rude. You don't know what I've been through. 
I've seen some things. You can't even imagine. I can't even talk about this right now. I'm getting choked up. <laughs> <laughs>